to service and then using this core foundation to create new products and services. And therein, ladies and gentlemen, is the real potential for highly rewarding and exciting business opportunities in the Middle East. But there's a prerequisite to this, and that, in my humble opinion, is leadership. There is a significant difference, and I've learned this over 30 years working with some great leaders, between being a manager or an owner of a business and being a leader of business. Owners can also be leaders, but then they'll have to let go of many of their personal affections and prejudices to ensure that the business operation is the most objective and professional. Mm -hmm. The difference between managing and leading is absolutely crucial. Managers tend to drive their people, communicating the vision, guiding, coaching, and helping, and pulling them along. The most effective leaders I've come across show genuine humility and respect for their people. They shape the culture of the organization through a powerful combination of behaviors and vision. They set clear direction and priorities, and then they role model those priorities. But how many business leaders have the time and headroom to do this effectively? Most of us get so engrossed in managing day-to-day -day affairs that we have no room left to develop our people or contemplate the exciting future that awaits, the innovation that we have to do. Therefore, a very important step to innovation and growth in the future, in my opinion, is to implement well-defined processes, standards, structures, and systems. Please do not cut corners on these to create consistency, credibility, and repeatability in your business. This consistency allows leaders to devote more time and energy to develop better and higher value solutions for their customers. Because we are in the middle of a major, major revolution. Many call it the fourth industrial revolution, and like the previous three, it has the potential to radically change our economy and our lives. This revolution is digital. There is a global race to adopt its undoubted potential. We cannot be left behind and will need to start using more of this growing capability to help new business models to flourish, new startups to grow, and local companies to compete successfully on a global basis. Hub for UK and hopefully for Europe too. The start point for this could be to create a collaborative centre for digital research and competency involving Midland universities and companies like yourselves. This centre should be designed to provide world-class expertise and digital skills for the local economy and I know that under the Industry 4.0 banner, the EU is planning to set aside many hundreds of millions of euros to support such regional hubs. And we should do collectively everything we can to draw upon that funding. As business leaders, we will need to join hands. And the competence is required for a more progressive and disruptive digital economy. In the short time we have tonight, I've attempted to describe how we might make the most of today, but with a firm focus on tomorrow. This is exactly my personal approach in life too. My late father was passionate about education and hard work as a foundation of a fulfilling and rewarding life. He often used to tell me that the world doesn't owe me a living and that I must do my very best to deserve it. According to him, Tomorrow was always going to be better than today because you will make it better for yourself and you'll take the responsibility to make it better for yourself. In and this principle, as just said, applies to businesses just as well.